So I feel like that's what really <laughs> encapsulates her vibe enough. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Okay, so my poem's called Trichotillomania or Tree. If my arms lack the strength to lift it, weighed down by torrents of rain, trembling with the responsibility of pinning my father's jacket together, protect my frame from the freezing air. There'll be no way to hide. I've never handled cold well. Its needles sink through my skull, into my thin body, pushing until I cave, until I flinch, proving that I'm not corded muscle. Proving I'm small and fragile, not like what I crave to be, and I fumble and falter and fall to a little rain. I can feel cold droplets hitting my bald spot at the top of my head without sweeping curls to cover it. Exposed skin to everyone walking behind me. I hope no one's there to bear witness to the bare pink skin from where I pulled the hairs from the root studied the transparent skin rounding the bowl, and I st and stripped the oh, and pulled the short hair through my teeth. I stripped the skin from follicle and swallow. Sometimes I keep the hair above my front teeth, sitting in my gums. It's soothing. I've been doing it for years. The patch has grown and shrunk, a window to my scalp that waxes and wanes cycling, but it's never disappeared. It's a tell, a sign of my lost composure. My bristled, unhealed childhood anxiety, I'm not realized or complete or mature. I'm ungrown, stunted, wrung out, a sopping wet washcloth and a soaked sweater who's not even strong enough to stop ripping her head apart. Even when it makes her gross, detestable, malformed, how could this botched creature be molded from the same blood as someone so strong, carved from the same wood, lacking the roots? And now I'm crying. I hate when I cry, becoming a patchwork of deep pink, scarlet, bloody undertones beneath bubblegum skin, camouflage pattern ringing in my ice blue eyes. I got them from my dad, but his are warm. There's summer and broad cotton hugs and nylon guitar strings. I tried to inherit everything from him, pulling his sweatshirt over my bedraggled head to my knees. But I can't stretch and heat myself to measure up. He can handle the wind and the cold and the fear and the OCD and the rain. And he doesn't cry. I'm told I'm the spitting image of him, and it's what I've always wanted to hear. But it's not true. He's strong and dependable and safe. People feel bright around him. I'm one third of a whole person, twisted and drowned and shedding. I wish I was more like him, an oak tree guarding our family through each and every season. I wish the rain made me grow. Thank you.